Hi all, welcome you all to the lecture video session on the steps to start an SSI. In the previous lecture video sessions, we, dis we discussed about the PRC, the Provisional Registration Certificate, the Permanent Registration Certificate and also we discussed about the project report raising and then the project report writing and the contents that is to be there and in the project report. And after completing all this, uh, the, the investor or the entrepreneur has to look forward for the finance. The finance for such kind of projects comes under the two main categories. One is the term loan and the second one is called as working capital loan. The term loan uh, is going to be given for the, the total assets. That is, it is given for the fixed assets like land, building, plant and machinery. And it can be availed from Karnataka State Financial Corporation if it is, uh, if the man, if the manufacturer or the if if the entrepreneur is going to open the small scale industry in Karnataka, or from any kind of commercial banks like State Bank of India, Punjab National Bank, and all those banks which are uh, giving the term loan facility to the entrepreneurs. And the financial institutions gives 75% of the total investment as the term loan. And 25% of the investment, total investment has to be invested by the promoters. And lending interest rates are between 13% to 14% and it is subjected to change depending on the financial conditions of the states. And it could be a floating rate of interest. And once the 75% of the total investment is sanctioned by the Karnataka State Financial Corporation or any commercial bank, it will be directly given to the supplier depending on the supply that is made by the supplier. And based on the bills that are raised by the plant, that are raised for the plant and machinery, directly the amount will be released to the manufacturer of the plant and the machinery. Uh, then the promoters may also approach the National Small Scale Industries Corporation NSIC for financial assistance. Next part of the loan is the working capital which will be uh, given to the, uh, the raw materials. Normally it will be given to the raw materials or uh, the, sem the processes that is going to be incurred to complete the semi-process goods. So the commercial banks will provide 75% of the total investment towards the working capital and 25% again it has to be invested by the promoter. And this is going to be the recurring kind of investment that is the, that the uh, that the promoter has to make and the uh, the term loans are going to be the non recurring one the lending rates are going to be varied between 13% to 14% just similar to the term loan that is availed by the promoter and this kind of uh, working capital can also be availed by the karnataka state finance corporation or any commercial banks Single window scheme for both the term loan and the working capital are available from the Karnataka State Finance Corporation where under this single window scheme both the type of the loans can be uh, you know, procured by the promoter. If the promoter approaches Karnataka State Finance Corporation then after submitting the project report it will be uh, the investor or the promoter will be called for a personal interview along with the bank officials or the KSFC officials to check the feasibility of the project under the interest of the promoter. After doing this, after doing the background check and after studying the project by uh, investigating the project, the officials will be able to give the sanction for the promoter's amount and stating the rules and the terms and the conditions. And the once the loan scheme is uh, approached uh, by, for providing the micro and the small scale industries whose project cost does not exceed around 50 lakhs and the total working capital requirements for the normal operations is up to 20 lakhs. Only the con industries which fall into this category can be given the loan by KSFC under single window scheme. So the term loan under this will be limited to 50 lakhs and then the working capital requirement uh, could be met up to 20 lakhs rupees. And uh, uh, the term loan for the fixed assets like the plant and machinery, land and building and then the construct and the uh, and the other requirements of the which are non-recurring. Then the term loan for the working capital is fixed based on the debt that is the promoter has got. The equity ratio of 2 is to 1 for the loans above 20, 10 lakhs and 3 is to 1 for the loans up to rupees 10 lakh is fixed by the uh, fixed in the single window scheme. So after uh, procuring the finance next stage is to implement the project and major activities that under uh, that is uh, that will 
in order to implement the project after obtaining all the licenses after availing all the licenses are the first one is the construction of shed and order for machinery third one is arrangement for the materials raw materials fourth one is the marketing research and then the survey and then the marketing and the fifth one is the erection and commissioning and uh, after completing all these stages final clearance will be availed so what are the problems that are faced by the small scale industries we know that the small scale industries have got an, uh, enormous potential to support the socio economic growth of growth of the country but still there are several problems that are faced by the small scale uni- industries and often it is heard so there are two types of problems that are faced by the small scale industry the first one is the external problem and then the second one is the internal problem if we compare uh, both of them uh, with respect to some of the factors the first external problem is the availability of power power may not be available in all the places if it is a rural remote area the power if the power requirement is huge and if the power requirement is there for the industry then it may take long time to get the power in that remote area so the availability of power is the external factor which is the problem that is faced by the small scale industry continuity of the power supply is another one the other problem that is faced by the uh, small scale industry and uh, the quality of the part like the fluctuations which is going to affect the plant and machinery and the process is another problem that is faced by the uh, small scale industries and the second external problem is the social religious and the sentiments all the small scale industries are cannot be opened in all the areas for example leather uh, products cannot be opened in all the areas and uh, similarly there are other industries which faces this religious and the sentimental problem which will not be allowed to open in all the areas third one is the capital requirement of the small scale for the small scale industries backup for the financial backup for the small scale industries realization term uh, realization time from the market towards the product that is to sold and uh, that is that is going to be another problem and the taxation is another problem legal terms uh, sometimes the legal terms will also become a uh, hassle for the small scale industries and the competitive and the volatile in- environment all the time the market may not support the small scale industries that becomes another problem to start in the small scale industries and the problems that are faced by the existing entrepreneurs who are having the small scale industries may not be all that encouraging to the new entrepreneurs so there is a problem in that one also in terms of sentiments and the fourth most important external problem is about the marketing of the product raw material continuity of the raw material supply is another problem inspections and then the clearances that is to be procured time to time it may be another problem and then the technology that is used it should be continuously evolving and then the, if it is continuously changing then the probably the small scale sector may not be able to cope up with the change in the technology often so that could be another problem which is going to be the external problem after understanding the external problems uh, let us understand what are the internal problems that are faced by the small scale industries the first most uh, internal problem that is faced by the small scale industry is the production channels second one is the distribution channel third one is the ne- technical know how if the person is not uh, experienced in a particular product or the processing of that particular product then uh, the person who is a investor may face the problem in in developing a quality product so the training that is to be given and that is already there with the existing human resources industrial relationships uh, to supply the product semi finished product and to get the external knowledge also in terms of uh, you know changing the uh, changing environment that's also going to be a hitch and inadequacy of the management if the management is not supportive then it is going to become a problem for the small scale industry survival of the small scale industry and second most important is that when we think about the human behavior sentiments then attitudes personal interests and then the bias treatment uh, towards people and uh, towards the employees and then the choice of idea the idea may be very good at that point of time but it may lose the market very quickly so there may not be a curve which is going to support the production period and the selling period so such kind of problems if at all the idea is facing 
it will not be a good idea to start with this kind of idea which has got a very short time or it might be uh, it might have spiked the interest at that point of time only maybe because of external demand uh, the feeble structure or the, the faulty planning planning might not have been proper and then because of that also there might be a internal problem it may be in terms of investors it may be in terms of people whom they have selected it might be in the expertise of the people and it could be th that might be leading to the poor productions and then once the poor production is done they cannot they may not be able to sustain the loss because they will they will not be able to realize it realize the price from the market or they, they may not be able to get sufficient margin and poor management is, is uh, management is also another problem where the people may not be stable and the people may not be uh, maybe with a varied interest and then it may not be supporting the innovativeness or the productivity inside the company so this is another problem quality is going to be a major problem if there is a poor production then obviously it is going to result in the poor quality poor quality product cannot sustain in the market if it is a new release then it will never be entertained by the consumer so the marketing of the poor product is going to be another challenging scenario and it cannot be uh, supported by the consumer and the most importantly inadequate finance if the market realization goes slow then probably the investor or the promoter may not be able to uh, support the the incurring costs uh, that for a longer time so this may be uh, there may be inadequate finance to support uh, because of that the ssi may face a survival problem and the labor problems may exist uh, in many areas and the labor problems inadequacy of the labor or uh, may not be able to ssi may not be able to afford to the expertise uh, so they may find the labor problem and even if all are supportive they may not be uh, a good management to utilize the capacity of the people so the capacity utilization is another factor which is going to contribute towards the success of the ssi if it is not identified properly then it is going to be a problem for the small scale industry and coming to the skill set inadequate training skills and then the if the skill set is not there then it is very hard to sustain uh, the losses that is going to be incurred in the small scale industries so the lack of strategies if there is no forward thinking then there may not be uh, enough market space and because of this the ssi may face the problem with this we are going to complete uh, the lecture video on the problems that are faced by the small scale industries uh, see you all in the next video on a uh, sickness in the ssi sector and uh, we will discuss in uh, length about the sickness in ssi sector how it is caused and what are the remedies thank you everyone for uh, participating in this lecture video session thank you everyone see you all in the next video thank you